Hi, welcome to another episode of Lumberjack Garage. This is arguably one of the most revolutionary cars of the 20th century. Carroll Shelby went to England, he got the AC Ace, he brought it over to America, he shoehorned a big old healthy American red-blooded V8 in it and turned it into a race car. For many years it held the record uh, of the fastest car that would go from zero to a hundred and back to zero again. They also had the record of uh, the amount of owners that died in their cars because they were just so fast and out of control. There was uh, songs written that were the top of the charts about the little uh, about the AC Cobra. It is not a real AC Cobra. But if you read the history of Carroll Shelby, especially depicted in that movie Ford versus Ferrari, late 60s, uh, Carroll Shelby got in a fight with Ford right after they won Le Mans and all the stuff they did. And he went to South Africa and he worked with this company called Superformance, officially licensed by Shelby Replica Car Builder. And so in my opinion, they're the premium replica car. They are not a kit car. You cannot build these yourself. You have to buy them from the company. You order them just like you order a new car, all your colors and everything like that. They build it for you and then they ship it over. It is titled as a kit car because they, they don't have to pass all the bumper regulations and all the modern safety standards. And the way that they do that is they don't have the engine installed in the car when it ships. So it's a complete body, fully built, fully wired, fully painted, uh, all assembled, and then you choose your engine. And so when you look at these cars, you look at Cobras at car shows, at gas stations, the number one thing I always look is the gauge cluster. Now look at this. You wanna notice the way the gauges are. So in an actual replica or the original cars, they're Smith gauges, because this was a British car. The speedometer was in the center and it went backward. This wheel says AC on it as an AC, AC Ace. Also the, the blinker stock is inboard, which is kind of unusual. We have all our standard gauges. The other thing that's really nice about the Superformance cars is they have really good wiring. It's factory style wiring harnesses and plug-ins as opposed to the kit cars where who knows how the wiring is run. They have fuse panels, it's all very nice. They also have a heater, which is amazing. They have uh, windshield wipers. They're basically a fully functioning car like you would have purchased in 1965 when you bought uh, a Cobra. Um, this one is signed by Carroll Shelby on the glove box. And uh, we were able to get him his signature before he passed away. So that was quite a few years ago. So that's pretty amazing. Um, it's got a horn. Like I said, fully functioning car. And you can get the, uh, the side curtains and a top. And uh, they're just very authentic. They're the best replica you can buy, in my opinion. This has a really nice trunk. It's got a nice, a nice deep trunk floor. The battery's in the trunk. Um, you got to have your lead hammer because uh, these are true knockoff wheels. So this is a fully functioning car. You can take this on a road trip, obviously only two people. This car does have a Ford big block. As you can see, so this is a 460. It's got uh, Ford Racing Super, Super Cobra Jet Aluminum heads on it. It's built up just about 600 horse at the crank and over 600 foot-pounds of torque. So the thing is a monster. But it's very authentic. It's got the turkey tray. It's got uh, a nice Holly four barrel. And uh, this thing really runs nice. Now, how do you open the door? There is a hidden handle on the back side. There's a little map pocket. Now, obviously, anything with side pipes, got to be careful if you rub your leg on that thing it will burn it real fast how about a cold start Look 
at the tack thinking it's a speedometer, which obviously, as soon as you look at it, you realize it's not, but that's where your eyes go at first. This motor has a lot of torque. shifting it at red line. We're just kind of driving. <laughs> There's so much power and so much torque, it's unbelievable. Thinking about trying to do any of our zero to 60 times, I just, I think I'm waking up the entire world here. Stop. 